insane. Like I, I sit there every day and I'm like, I can't believe this is our, this is my life. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's crazy. It's so exciting just to be a part of the show itself. Mm. But then to add to that the fact that we've all been not working for 18 months, like we're gonna open reopen the Bristol Hippodrome after 18 months of it being closed, which is the longest theatre has been closed ever in history. Mm. It's just it's so exciting and it feels like we've been working up to it and up to it and up to it and to have people actually like watching it is gonna be it's Surreal. gonna be electric. I yeah. Think. Well, Beauty and the Beast is really special to me. It's been part of my life for a long time. I keep going back to it. When Disney reinvents the show, or once the show reinvented, I've been there to help. Um, this time, I'm directing it and choreographing, which is uh, crazy, uh, uh, but but exhilarating. There's so much that's changed in it. You know, it's an all new physical set. It's all new costumes. It's yeah. of course a new cast. I mean, there are people in this show that weren't alive when we made the movie, you know? I mean, it's amazing to think yeah. about. I love Beauty and the Beast. I love what it says, I love what it's about. And I was thinking about the character of Belle and how she has changed in the eyes of a generation that grew up with her, right? Yeah. And I knew that we wanted to start it in this country. Um, not just because I love working here, but it seemed like a smart business to do yeah. Yeah. And then, as we were working on it, of course, these conditions changed dramatically. Yeah. And, uh, and then it became really apparent to me that this is a story about this time. Mm. The metaphor of what is happening here and the spell that's been put on the castle and being freed from it so that color can return, life can return, joy can return, of course, yeah. is that's what the theater is there for. The theater is there to provoke you, it's there to dream for you, it's there to give you wish fulfillment, so to give you fellowship, to gather with an audience, to, in a sense, be together and hear a story well told. And that's what we're going to endeavor to do.